And on to some breaking news now, photojournalist Shiraz Mohammed has just landed in South Africa. Mohammed was kidnapped by extremist group IS while covering the Syrian war. This back in 2017. Now, a non-profit organization, Gift of the Givers, had been working on his release and tweeted that he had escaped back in December to Turkey. And our reporter Heidi Jockers joins us now from the airport. Good afternoon to you, colleague. Let's talk about uh, uh, Shiraz Mohammed making his way back home. Have you seen him? Has he arrived? Uh, we do understand that Shiraz Mohammed has arrived back in South Africa. Um, we do understand that the, the family has actually released a short statement to say that he is back in the country. And uh, given the circumstances, the family is asking for some space and time. We do understand that it, of course, has been a very difficult time for the family, given the fact that Shiraz Mohammed was kidnapped three years ago in January of 2017. Uh, it is now January of 2020, so one can only understand what the family has gone through, as well as Shiraz Mohammed, uh, given the fact that he did go to Syria in January of 2017 as a photographer, uh, trying to capture uh, what had been going on in Syria, and he was then uh, kidnapped. So it, it has been a very difficult time for him. The gift of the givers have, of course, been uh, involved in trying to assist him as much as possible and try to get him back into South Africa. Uh, however, they did later on pull out of assisting the family and and Shiraz Mohammed and uh, did indicate that they are going to give the family an opportunity to rather do so. Uh, what is also interesting, however, to Melo, is the fact that the Department of uh, International Relations has not been involved in assisting the family, um, which, uh, you know, they basically saying that the family needs to handle this, this uh, situation and these circumstances, and they are going to give the family space to do so. So we are waiting. We are at arrivals at OR Tamba. I'm going to move out of shot to show you. Uh, we are waiting for him to come through the doors of arrivals, Terminal A. Uh, we're not exactly sure whether or not he will come through those doors, uh, given the fact that, of course, he is uh, probably very much traumatized, given the fact that he's been kidnapped for, uh, for three years and, of course, uh, uh, in very unpleasant circumstances. And from where you're standing, Heidi, are there any other you know, government uh, officials? We know that the uh, family, at least, has asked for some space and privacy as they deal, of course, with his return back home. But the Gift of the Givers, number one, have been uh, at some point involved in this case. Even though they pulled out, they've been quite vocal, even speaking to the media, even to us right here on ENCA. Uh, we know Dirk as well has been quite silent in terms of assistance and making comments about the case. But is there anyone from the organization or government present from where you're standing? No, Tumelo, there is no government official that is present uh, at the airport at the moment. We did speak to Durko uh, this morning. ENCA did engage with them about their involvement and their assistance uh, with getting Shiraz Mohammed back into the country. However, as mentioned, uh, they did indicate that they are giving the family some space and time to deal with this. So as it currently stands, there is no, uh, if I can put it this way, support from government uh, to assist this process. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, one can only imagine what Shiraz Mohammed uh, has been going through, given the fact that he has been kidnapped. It's been three years since he's been back home. And uh, just a, a few weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, or if it was a couple of months ago, uh, Shiraz Mohammed did send out a video uh, pleading for help, begging for help, uh, uh, saying that he needs to get out of there. So uh, it has not been an easy process. And of course, one would expect and, and hope that government would try and assist in this circumstances. But uh, there is no government government official uh, anywhere. It's just a full media contingency that is here. Uh, I can actually just move over. If you can see, there is some uh, media on the backside over there just trying to uh, see, get a glance of Shiraz Mohammed. Many of them indicating to us that they've worked uh, very closely with Shiraz Mohammed and they are just waiting for him. So as it currently stands, no government official is present with us here at the airport. You see reporter Heidi Jockers, thank you so much for the update. Now the breaking news is that Shiraz Mohammed is making his way back home is actually landed, expected to make through those corridors right there at arrivals. Now, if you remember, he was held captive this two years ago, back in 2017, and uh, Doku hasn't been quite vocal in terms of assistance there. They've said that, they, of course, uh, would allow the family to deal with the issue. The family being quite understandably, uh, you know, uh, nervous about whether or not he would make his way back home. But uh, we've seen organization gift of the givers there, first primarily being involved, but later on pulling out. And after that, uh, Turkey.
Turkish authorities being involved with his escape. And now he's back home in uh, 2020. But we'll give you updates on that story as we continue.